Hi guys, it is an absolutely gorgeous Saturday morning in the end time. Saturday, October 4, 2014 here in Doomsday Trailer West in Panic, Colorado. And uh, if you'd see the weather forecast for Paonia, good lord, not one drop of rain scheduled here as far as they can see. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to do a quick mention of this story down near the bottom, down near the bottom of Yahoo News today. We have this story out of Miami from Reuters News. Miami Beach in race to control flood ahead of King Tide. Miami Beach, Florida. Construction crews are wading into chest-high pools of muck in a race against time to install pumps Miami Beach officials hope will help control an annual super-high tide threatening to flood South Florida's popular seaside city next week. And so this is going to be October 9th, so about Wednesday of next week, a so-called King Tide is expected to push almost an extra foot of water onto streets, going over seawalls, and forcing residents to wade through flooded streets. And this is, as they point out, an annual event causing widespread damage, but with the passage of each year, the annual event uh, is going to cause a little more widespread damage. Uh, let's see. The event caused by the alignment of the Sun, Moon, and Earth provides a taste of the potential impact of a longer term two-foot sea level rise predicted for South Florida by 2060, according to the U.S. Uh, Geological Survey. The low-lying Greater Miami area with a population of 5.7 million people is one of the world's most at-risk urban communities, scientists told a U.S. Senate subcommittee uh, hearing in April. And the King Tide is expected over the next few years to rise to almost four feet, one foot this year, but it won't be long before you can expect this sucker to be four feet. And with seven miles of coastline, Miami Beach is already seeing more frequent saltwater street flooding at just normal high tides. And uh, let's see, the city has set aside up to $4 million to install 50 pumps in the coming years in what some say is a vain effort to protect an estimated $23 billion of real estate in Miami. And bigger seawalls are not an option as Miami Beach's flooding is caused largely by water rising underfoot through porous limestock bedrock. And uh, there you go. And everything else. Uh, apart from these measures, Miami Beach has begun to develop a long-term plan for coping with sea level rise, including pushing real estate developers to sacrifice street-level space for more elevated building designs. Quote, it is a retreat up. And retreating up is critical to quell concerns 
of insurers and lenders backing the city's blockbuster development, quote from this Morales guy, whoever he is, in order to keep Miami's real estate market hot, we need to assure people we understand who uh, we need to assure people who understand this what is going on in Miami that we are doing everything in our power do you wait till the water is at your ankles and knees there you go so that's the news out of Miami Florida awaiting the king tide on Wednesday and uh Anyway, guys, obviously, as Rolling Stone magazine was reporting a year ago, it is time to kiss Miami Beach and the Everglades goodbye. And uh, with that, I will say, bye, guys. <laughs>